Hey guys, this is Antti from Just Keep It Fresh. Welcome to the Polishing Bay. What we have in this Polishing Bay, as you can see, is something quite special. This car is the Ford GT40. Now, for most of you who don't know about the Ford GT40, this car is a car that was obviously built by Ford Motors um, to compete back in the 1960s in the long distance races at Le Mans, to compete with the likes of Ferrari. And this car itself over here, it did not compete in that race because this is a 2011 version of that car. It's a 1960s vehicle, but this one's built in 2011. Now, obviously it is a classic, a very wonderful classic that the car has brought into us. And what he wants is to keep that car in the best condition possible. Now, upon inspection, we've seen a lot of scratches and swirl marks and a lot of like very deep scratches as well. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna polish all that off and buff it off. But obviously with cars like this, nothing comes without problems. And we're gonna show you about um, some of the problems that we've encountered and what we're gonna be doing to attack those problems. Let's have a quick look. Now, um, as you can see, most of the time when we have all the cars like this, whether it's a Porsche 911 or a Toyota Silica that we've done before, uh, we would always use a paint measuring gauge to see the thickness of the paint. Unfortunately with this car, it doesn't work. Paint measuring gauge only works if it's on a metal surface. So it will be able to track the thickness from the gauge itself to underneath the metal and it'll kind of give you a brief description on how thick it is in between. With this one, it's not made of metal, so we couldn't tell how much paint um, is on the actual car itself, which means we're pretty much, we could be walking on thin ice. So that's something that um, was a problem at first. Secondly, um, this is an area that we have polished and has taken a very, very long time to polish. Now, I think it's because the material of the actual body itself, it's resisting a little bit more heat than a normal metal body would. And so when we're actually polishing, it's taken at least four times um, the time to actually get rid of the scratches, which means from just from here to where Milo is working right now, it already has taken up one and a half days because we want to work very, very well and very, very, we're, we're being very, very detailed about what we're doing on this car. So instead of me talking to you guys about the history of the car, I got the owner himself, Adam, over here, who will tell us more about the history of his car. Yeah, this is a, it's originally a 1966 chassis. It, it yeah. was uh, built for um, um, one of the works teams coming from UK at the time, and it raced at Sebring and Daytona. Um, it's been extensively modified from that because it is exclusively now for road use. Um, but uh, the transition at the moment is to get the original Gurney Westlake engine uh, rebuilt and fitted to this and then um, hopefully I'll be able to use it as a regular road car. It's, it's still a racing car and it behaves like a racing car but it's, uh, it has got a competition history so um, I'm very lucky to own it. Can you tell me more about the engine that you were talking about just then? Because you said it's been replaced and the worth of the, en the, worth of the car could actually change if you change the original engine back, right? Yeah, the, the original engine, which is in the States being rebuilt, is actually based on the original big block Fords. Um, it's, a Gurney, uh, it's a Gurney Westlake engine, so the heads were made by Harry Westlake in the UK. Wow. And it's the original engine, but it's, mm. this car sat for many, many years doing nothing, and the engine needs a complete rebuild, and to source the original heads and get them uh, reworked is uh, a bit of a challenge. Wow. Well, I'm not an engineer. I, I'm not good at doing the engine stuff, yeah. but I could try to get this car looking as good as possible cosmetically. Yeah, great. And awesome. Great. And I'll, I'll enjoy driving even more. Um, if I could fix the fact that your feet get wet when it rains and you sweat when it's hot, um, it would be great. But it's, 
It's a great car. Otherwise, wonderful car. Nice seeing you. On top of the morning, on top of the waves, on top of the team, on top of the days, on top of my purpose, I do, I create. Y'all wanna copy, but we're not the same. Sometimes when it can be dark, sometimes when it can be scary, sometimes you still gotta push on and just do what is necessary. You need that mindset, dog, you're just like a mercenary. All right, guys, so what we've done is we finally paint corrected the whole car. Just because the material of the car was a little bit different, it took a lot, lot longer to actually paint correct the car. We've steam cleaned every part of the car, decontaminated everything, took everything apart, cleaned it as well, cleaned all the bolts, put it back in, and then we finally coated the car with this beautiful Infinite Base Type 2 coating. Now, this car, we needed this coating because it is a car that we want to protect. It is heritage, and we want to be able to um, protect that heritage, protect the history of the car. And the best part about this is that it um, guards the car from all the environmental elements. The, the customer's gonna be driving this car on the track apparently. So that's something that we wanna do. Less talking now, let's have a look at what the car looks like. You just gotta go push on, you just gotta go, go and get it. You gotta go be so fly, people around, they ask you why. Yeah, what is the reason you do it? Yeah, what is the reason you even try? It is cause I need me a purpose I need a decent life yeah. I don't wanna be so basic I just wanna go go and fight I really wanna give it all I really wanna go all in Yeah, I'm really gonna be that guy at the top That's not gonna be falling So I'm just gonna be that leader Man, I will be shot calling So I'm back with a pack of my wolves But you won't hear us hauling On top of the morning On top of the way On top of the team On top of the days On top of my purpose I do, I create Y'all wanna copy, but we're not the same, yeah, yeah Life is a game and I play to the fullest I would be a fuller than no if I wouldn't So I just gotta go do it and do it I just gotta keep on, keep on, keep on pushing Man, they wanna really tell me Hey, please stop it, do not do it But 